Hey guys, welcome back to XTA. Today's must-have app is a file manager that's intended to run within your recovery. And I'm saying a better experience using a file manager when using your recovery. Let's check it out. So I know that initially or generally when I do a review for you guys, most of the time I'm in actually in within the actual operating system or Android, whichever version of it may be. This time, the application I'm reviewing for you is a file manager that works specifically within your recovery, and that's the beauty of it. So first thing I want to make sure that you guys are aware of, this is Twerp, obviously the latest version of Twerp as of today, as of making the movie, the, the file itself or the video itself. The only reason why I want to mention this is built into actual Twerp is a file manager. It's a fully capable file manager, albeit not exactly the most intuitive file manager. And I say this because if we're used to using it mostly in our Android device, one of the main benefits of this is the obviously the GUI interface that you get to be able to see. It's similar, it's easy. You're able to select things and change permissions. And I'll explain to you what I mean here. So if I go into my system folder, and here's my system folder. Well, currently I don't have access to my, uh, my actual system file and I'll explain to you what we need to do here. You go into mount, you say system file, you go back home. Now we have the ability of accessing the system folders within Android and that's one of the safeties that's built in. By default it's not in there. Now we actually go in here and I can see here I have the ability to basically go in of course you know copy file uh, ch so ch mod 775 this by default if you're not familiar with this this is changing the permission to 775 the most common permission that's set to a file and within android or you can go ch mod and change it yourself i'm not going to do any of this i'm not going to change this i'm not going to do any modifications to my file but not necessarily everybody would be able to understand how to use this but if we go in within our normal application itself i'm going to go in here I'm going to go one level up. I'm going to go into our SD card. And all the way at the bottom is the file that we're going to be reviewing today. And this is called Aroma File Manager. It's a file manager that's built in directly into a flashable zip. It allows us to basically go in and change file systems or actually just do copy and paste, do normal file manager type application functions within our normal recovery without having to worry about it. So I'm in directly back in here. I'm just going to go back into system. I'm going to scroll down. Now you notice build prop is right here. And if I want to do anything to it, I can press. It gives me the functional act, you know, systems that normally you get to see. And whenever we change permissions, this is what we're normally used to seeing when we change permissions. Not everybody knows the number numeric values that actually matches to this. A simple search would give you the answer, but from an aesthetics and an actual functionality, it's always great to, if you have to use a file manager within your you know recovery to use something that's very close to stock very nice very easy very good you can create folders obviously favorites you can select all you have a menu here gives you the ability you know obviously open console if you want to be able to type in any commands directly into into the console and of course show hidden files and then you have some settings in here that you can actually go in and change certain parameters within it i'll give it a second and then so you're able to basically change the you know icon and text small it, just normal things that you're able to do and of course uh, you can actually have, change the font size, you can change the generic, you obviously have the experiment here of themes, you can change different things, you can go change languages. It, it is developed by an Indonesian developer, so that's the reason why you have English and Indonesian as the default languages. I'll give you guys a link, of course, to the, in the description. And of course, at the end, mount configuration, uh, you know, auto mount all devices on start. That's just something that if you definitely want to do that, we can cancel here. And to exit, you just go exit under the menu, say yes, and it takes you directly back into your normal recovery and you can reboot your system. From what you can see, the actual file manager works really nice. It almost looks like you're running within Android. It has all the functionalities that you normally would expect from a file manager, you know, copy paste, renaming, changing permissions. And that's one of the reasons why I like it. The way we change permission within our normal recovery kind of requires us to have pre-understanding configuration of how those numbers show. So if you notice when we were going through with the actual, at least, you know, this isn't Twerp, you know, Clockwork Mar may be different. It doesn't give you the ability to basically to see what 775 is. CH mod 775 is generally the normal permission. Uh, it's a permission that gives you the ability to basically change the permission on a file if you maybe made a mistake and gave it the wrong permissions. A lot of times some of our mods require us to replace files within the Android system. We always need to make sure that the right permission is there before we reboot. Otherwise, you end up going into a boot loop or even worse, your system won't boot up normally and you have to go reinstall the OS. A very big problem. Knowing how to use your file manager within your recovery is also an important thing. 
Most of us don't go in there, and this is why I'm providing you guys this actual application to use. Check it out, let me know what you guys think as far as the actual application. It's very nice, a small zip file you can always just leave in the root part of your, your system and then just boot into it if you ever need it. It works really good, especially if you're trying to copy over you know, backups from one system to the other, but you can't access uh, you know, obviously your main system. So this works really good and it gives you the ability of doing things on the go without having necessarily to you know, connect your phone to your computer and then mount it to be able to do all of this. Let me know what you guys think. As usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel, and I hope you guys found this very helpful. I'll see you guys soon.